If a camel rejects its calf, send for a violinist. That was the strangely enchanting message of the story of the weeping camel, co-director Bian Basurandava's Oscar-nominated documentary about the disappearing traditions of Mongolia's nomadic community. In my BFI player choice this week, the Munich Film School graduate returns to her Mongolian homeland, blending drama and documentary in a childlike fable of man and beast, the cave of the yellow dog. <laughs> The Bachelon family, mother, father, three daughters, effectively play themselves in this hybrid oddity about hard-working nomads whose work life cycles are defined by the rhythm of the seasons. When six-year-old Nansal, who is already a horse-riding herder, brings home a stray dog, her father insists that his presence will attract the wolves who prey upon his sheep. But Nansal loves the dog and refuses to banish it to the Mongolian wilderness. If the story seems whisper-thin, think cares with a happy ending, then the devil is in the background detail. Whether making cheese, dismantling their yurt, or playing with dry dung, a highlight for the kids, the Bachelungs remind us that, try as it may sound, life's true joys lie in simple things. There's much optimistic discussion of death and reincarnation, and a lovely scene in which one of the youngsters tinkers with a religious icon, and some viewers may balk at the superimposed sub lassie narrative, which perhaps adds little and even occasionally lends a somewhat clumsy air of artifice, but it's a minor quibble about an enchanting movie that has the power to engross, educate, and entertain.